Hello everyone, welcome to Scorch Shorts. On this week's episode we're going to get back into making our adventure map and learning how we can use command blocks to create different elements that we'll use in our adventure map. So uh, we're going to look at reward systems this time around. Um, first one you can see is just a dropper and it's just you put your rewards in there and whenever the trigger shoots out the reward. And this is a very clumsy way of doing rewards but it's really simple. Um, it won't be able to be restocked uh, automatically and uh, it can be stolen from pretty easily in most uh, maps and servers. So an alternative to that is the give command and setting up a command block with just give and then select your player. So this can be all players in a radius, it can be the closest player, anything like that. Same sort of setup that we've learned about earlier. Um, then uh, the item number, the ID number for what item you want to give them and then the number of items you're going to give them. So in this case, whenever you push this, it gives the closest player a diamond sword. Another way we can reward players is by giving them experience for completing tasks. Um, what we can do is just set up a command block that's triggered after the task is complete and then have the command block say experience and then give it a number and this number will be uh, just experience orbs and uh, then you select the player that's going to give those experience orbs to. So closest player within a radius of 11 is what I have set up here. So now whenever I push this, it will give me uh, 50 experience orbs. And these are experience orbs and not levels. So if I wanted to do levels, I would just put in a number and then put L right after that number, and that will give uh, levels instead of experience. We can also use potion effects to reward players. So if they do something and we want to give them a cool effect that they can use for a certain amount of time, uh, we can just do effect, select the player, closest player, and then uh, the type of effect. This is a stasis effect, and you can find a list of all the stasis effects and their ID numbers in the description below. So this is 8, which is uh, jump boost. And then the next number we're putting in here is uh, the time that we want this to last. So 20 seconds is what I have here and then uh, the strength of the effect, so three. So if I push this, I will have 20 seconds of three boost in my jump. So I get to jump a little bit higher here. Um, and you can also replace the time here with uh, four nines, and that will make the effect last indefinitely. The last one I'm going to show you, and the most complicated, is using stores and a money system that uses kind of a makeshift economy to buy and sell goods. Um, you can reward players at the end of uh, a task just by setting up a command block that does that utilizes the scoreboard system and gives a uh, player money. So you can see if you hit tab right now, I have it set up as the list display, and you can see right by my name there's a zero. So if I push this it gives me uh, five of the money or gold is how I label in this. Um, so to set this up, uh, we just have two command blocks that we have to run. And the first one is uh, scoreboard objectives add. Then uh, we're going to give our objective a name uh, since we're creating a new objective here with the add function. Uh, so I'm just get, I'm naming it money, and that's what I'm going to refer to it with all of my command blocks. Um, then uh, it's a dummy command since it's just a random integer number that's just going up and down and fluctuates as you buy and or get money and sell stuff and get uh, items. Uh, then I'm get, using a display name here, and then I'm just calling it gold. And this display name will show up in the sidebar menu if you use a sidebar for displaying your money. The next command block you'll want to set up is the display command block for this. So you just use scoreboard, objectives, and then set display. This will set the display for our objective. So I'm going to use the tab menu, which is just a uh, list. So whenever you hold tab, you see a list of all the players and uh, the amount of money that they'll have next to their name. Um, you can also use sidebar, like I said. Uh, then once you pick your uh, display method, uh, you'll select what you called your objective. So in this case, I just called it money, and I'm referring to it in that way for all of my command blocks. Um, then to give uh, players money whenever you want to reward them, you just do scoreboard, players, add, and then select your player with the same selection methods. Then 
uh, the objective name money in this case uh, and then the amount of money you want to give them I also have an extra command block set up here so that it says uh, how much it's giving them so they can kind of see right away oh I just got five gold so whenever you see this and it pushes it it just says plus five gold and then you can see right there on my tab menu that it added five gold setting up shops is really simple you just create these little modular units where you have your item and uh, the amount of money you want to pay for them and then you can push the button and uh, if you push a button it gives you the item and it says uh, it took away the amount of gold that it costs um, if you try pushing the button when you have not enough gold to buy it it says this costs 15 gold so to wh the way we do this is we have three command blocks that run at once when you push this button and then one that's delayed a little bit okay so to go through these things we'll look at uh, this one first which is just the uh, command that tells you if you don't have enough money so it go does tell and then closest player and then this is our requirements for close player. So we have a radius to make sure that it's selecting the player that's actually pushing the button. And then we also have score underscore money. And that money is our keyword here for our objective. And then we want to put, since this is just score money, it's a maximum here. So anything above this and uh, anything above this number, it won't trigger this command. Anything below it, it will trigger this command. Uh, and then basically you just put in a message here uh, like this costs more st gold and then it will say that you need more st gold whenever you uh, push the button if you don't have enough okay then the next one is we want to set up the same uh, sort of command except if it succeeds so uh, tell closest player and then score money and then underscore minimum and this is our min uh, so uh, if you do it like this it will do only it will only trigger it if you do have more than 14 gold in your money account or money scoreboard so uh, it also has a radius on there and then uh, it will tell you that it you lost 15 gold basically or that it took away 15 gold all right, um, then the third one that we need to run right away when you push the button is the give command. And this gives closest player, and then same system here, score underscore money underscore min equals 14. So anything above 14 will trigger this. And this will just uh, give you that item, the same, same give command we had earlier, except adding... Uh, requirements here so that you have to have enough money in order to actually get this item then once it does that it, if you have enough uh, money it will give you the item it will say that it took the money from you and then it actually has to take the money from you so that's why this is on a delay is so that it can actually check and make sure you have the money first for those uh, three command blocks there and then we're just gonna have this command which is a scoreboard players remove instead of add just like we had add earlier for adding money to uh, a person's account uh, you do remove then selects the player and then it has the score underscore money underscore min equals 14 same requirements again so that it only gives uh, it only takes away money from people who actually bought an item and then it will take it will remove money 15 and it will remove 15 of your gold from your account whenever you get that so let's go over here add more again and we'll buy another sword so again you can see how it works you need to push this thing can't buy anymore but that's pretty much it uh, you can create more of these in just a line and uh, have all the different items you want to be able to sell it's a good way to reward players and let them choose what sort of re reward they're going to get um, i hope you guys learned something thanks for watching i will see you guys next time